It's all good. Good morning, everybody. It's Tapping Girl tapping into you. My name's Colette, and I'm your host, and I am Tapping Girl. Mm-hmm. I got Lisa with me. <laughs> we haven't morning. seen Lisa in a little while, yeah. I don't think. We, there's been all kinds of stuff going on. Um, so, Lisa, why don't you tell them real quick about what it is you okay. do? Okay. Uh, Reiki Masters. So, we work with energy, which is wonderful. I also do um, Young Living Essential Oil. Yeah, she's a Young Living Essential Oil distributor, yep. correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. And we've shown before where you kind of mix your items. The word I got was potion. Where you mix your oils to come up with smells and things and all of that stuff. So if you need help understanding essential oils, because all this stuff is getting bigger and bigger. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. More and more people are understanding. We're, you know, we're smellers and the smell ignites memory and da da da. I also want to thank my sponsors, Mm -hmm. Nobleville, Noble, I always do that. Noblesville Trophies and Logan Street Signs and Banners is through the generosity of Jim Wofford and all of his knowing of all the stuff you guys don't even see that goes on here that we are able to sit here and bring this tapping experience to you and it's very generous that he's doing that if anybody decides that they'd like to be cutting edge and advertise here you need to contact me and let me know because we would love to take your money (laughs) and that would make you leading edge cutting edge creators okay that people would actually be like wow they're pretty ahead of the curve okay all right today's topic we're going to do like tapping 101. Okay. We're kind of going back to the beginning, okay? So we're going to talk about tapping, what it is, where it came from, how it works, those things that I do a little bit of week to week. Right. Okay? Because I'm getting more people following me, mm-hmm. and I'm getting more people with questions oh, and um, stuff like that that, you know, to talk about my beloved tapping. Okay, because I'm telling you people, I've always been me. Okay, Mm -hmm. I mean, I never really was afraid or shy or whatever. Well, I shouldn't say I was afraid. I was (laughs) wadded up in fear. Okay, Uh I was 10 years ago when I first found the tapping. um, It was absolutely (coughs) life changing for me. Um, uh, From there, I catapulted into understanding and learning the law of attraction. I teach law of attraction and tapping. Mm -hmm. I call them the dynamic duo. Okay, law of attraction. Everything that you're getting is a match to you, okay? Mm-hmm. So when ornery shows up, when angry shows up, when betrayal shows up, okay? Mm-hmm. Then chances are you had an angry, ornery, betraying experience in your past, okay? Okay. Now you fear it, okay? On an, on an I'm going to say, below the level of conscious, right? okay? Whether you want to call it sub or un or whatever, mm-hmm. okay? Which means you're a match, Right. Which means you're going to bring to you more of stuff, that. more of that. Yep. There you go. Law of attraction in a nutshell. Now, there are people who like to say to me, oh, I'm just now working with law of attraction. No, you're not. You've been <laughs> you've been using law of attraction your whole freaking dick in life, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've been using it every single second. Here's why, um, uh, first of all, law of attraction is everything I get, Okay. Law of attraction is universal law, just like the law of gravity, okay? So whether you're aware of it or not, gravity functions. It's always. Okay? It is. Yeah. Whether you're aware of it or not, law of attraction is, okay? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, um, uh, this gives me an opportunity to tell you about a couple things coming up. June 14, if you're in or around Indianapolis, go to my timeline. There is an event we're going to be, uh, I'm going to be facilitating called Red Tent Indy. It's on June 14th from 6 to 8. It'll be over by Rocky Ripple. Okay. Okay? And it's basically in a yurt and a yurt is like a mongolian yeah. tent i mean it's a really cool concept mm-hmm. uh the red tent dense dates back to i'm just going to say biblical times mm-hmm. where women supported each other through their cycles and the hormones and all of the things going on it was a place you could go be loved and nurtured okay so here's what's funny oh. scott's other room so i can tell you this <laughs> so my husband said that he was going <laughs> and it says in the description for you're, you know, bring yourself ladies or anybody who wants to reconnect with their feminine, okay? Uh-huh. Now, so I said to my husband, I said, <laughs> I said, okay, so like, did you know this was only for girls? And he goes, no. <laughs> and I said, well, okay, so did you, Do you want to? it says also for people who want to reconnect with their feminine, would you like to go with that? And he was like, gave me a snarky look and said no. <laughs> and the, I want to tell you the irony of it is because Scott is just Scott. 
Yeah. Okay. I have a lot of friends who say he's just one of the girls. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's so because he's easy to talk to. Good. He's he's yeah. He's a good person. He's yep. kind of generous heart. He's yep. just got some things that like As all we of all us. Do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not going to go into a big thing. There. Good. <laughs> okay. I got stuff. He's got stuff. Everybody got stuff. Okay. Uh -huh. So um, of course he said no. Oh. So he's not coming. So y'all are going to miss my husband's Shoot. feminine side, even though those of you who really know him know that. Scott is a very sensitive, caring, yes, loving, kind, generous person. Uh, thank God, or he'd probably be dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> good right. couple. Yeah, good couple. Yeah. There are a lot of people, sometimes they think we're playing. We're not. He's tapping all the time. He's <laughs> no. It, I wish he would. He doesn't. No? <laughs> he does, but you know what? I rock the tapping. So oh, let me well. tell you what the tapping is. The tapping, even if you've done it before, <laughs> even if you've heard me before, listen up, okay? Mm -hmm. What we're going to do today, a little different, because according to this thing, we got 18, 19 minutes left. We are going to start tapping now. Okay. okay. So we're just going to tap starting on the eyebrow and we're going to do this while I'm explaining to you what tapping is. Okay. Because even right now, as you're doing this, you're actually changing your brain and your body and you. Yeah. Okay, you're changing those connections. You're starting to calm down your energy system. This is really good stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. So tapping, it, we say it's acupuncture without the needles, mm -hmm. okay? That's the easiest way to explain it because as you can see, we're tapping spots on the face and the body, mm -hmm. okay? And these are actually meridian endpoints. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we aim the tapping at a phobia, a fear, an issue, uh, maybe uh, an athletic thing. Uh, I'm not as good at my golf. Right. Um, we can aim it at grief, stress, anxiety, uh, fear. Um, I mean, there's not anything you can't use tapping for. Right. I was just walking by a lady I see all the time when I'm out on my walk this morning. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, where you been? And she's like, ah, oh, nursing an ankle. And I said, why aren't you tapping with me? And I'll tell you, it's hard for you all to wrap your brain around the idea that we can actually change physical. the physical condition. Right. Okay? I've got a lady, she might be listening to us right now, um, that is uh, doesn't have cartilage left in her knee. We found the core issue. Mm -hmm. She walks pain-free. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, once we started getting in there and talking about the fear of knee replacement, mm -hmm. just that fear of surgery, all of those things, okay, then we found the core issues. Mm -hmm. uh, the knee is about being stubborn, unbending unforgiveness. Oh, wow. Who who can't you forgive? So you um, go there. You go there. It's a, it's a lot okay. of that stuff. Depending on what's going on with the body, lets me know what you got going on. Okay. okay. Tapping, being energy work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, One yeah. drink water. Just yep. like when you get a massage. Yep. Right? Okay. Tapping can be used for as little as a quick round. Okay. Or yours truly because I'm uh, pretty intense. I know you didn't know that. <laughs> surprise, um, surprise. When I found tapping and I started doing it, it was nothing for me to have two hours go by. Ugh. Okay. Now, I don't suggest that for everybody. Uh-oh. I forgot to bring up my... I'm going to push my phone over at you. Okay. Because I forgot to bring up the show on my timeline. There's the... Oh, wait. Let me go see this. Hang on, hang on. Uh, let me tell you about another thing while you're while I'm looking here. Okay, June twenty fourth, there is going to be at Camp Chesterfield, Indiana. There is going to be a three hour tapping workshop. Okay, that is only okay. Where is it? Do I have to refresh the timeline? There's there's Hamilton County TV, Scott. I'm gonna let you find it and see if you can share it. Okay. On June 24th, three-hour tapping workshop. Tap Chesterfield, Indiana. It's only $25, I'm telling you. Yeah. Nobody gets me for $25, mm -hmm. okay? That is like super for duper cheap. For three hours? For three hours. Because oh. what we're going to do in that three hours is I'm going to intro you to tapping, tell you where it came from, how, why it works like it works, okay. okay? So you can start to understand those things. And Scott, don't worry if you can't find it. It's already... Yay. Oh, okay, cool. Um, and then we're going to just navigate issues. Okay. Now, one of the, and see, this gives me another opportunity to explain a really cool thing about tapping. One of the really, really amazing things about tapping mm -hmm. is a whole concept called borrowing benefits. So, let, did you forget that? Yeah, I forgot let's, that. Let's, for, let's pretend we're in a circle and you got a shoulder, you got an ankle issue, you're mm -hmm. mad at your daughter, you want to change jobs, okay? When we're tapping in a circle, mm -hmm. even though we're tapping on your shoulder, everybody else is going 
want to get relief on their issue. Why? Okay, because we're all dealing with the same thing, and that is the energy body. Right. Okay? So it doesn't matter, because people will say, how can you take the same thing and aim it at anything? Right. Yeah. Because that, oh, I'm thinking, why am I hearing this in my head? I'm hearing my own, I'm hearing my yeah, own. So. <laughs> I'm like, who, who is that talking, that lovely voice? I know that voice. She knows everything. <laughs> I had a lady one time I recorded a tap and sent it to her. And she kept talking about that lady. I said, what lady? She goes, the one that did the tapping. And I go, that was me. <laughs> okay, so borrowing benefits, and some of you will connect in this way. Borrow, borrowing benefits, I tell people, is just like prayer. Okay? Mm-hmm. In other words, when one or more, it, you know, when you're doing energy work, everybody benefits. Right. Okay? Right. So let's now go to, um, uh, let me explain to you just a little bitty bit about the brain. Okay? We were made, there's a part of our brain called the amygdala. Mm-hmm. Some people call this the reptilian brain. Okay. okay. I like to think of it as like our caveman brain. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's the part of our brain that puts us into fight or flight so that when we see the tiger that we're hunting for dinner right. that we know now sees us, the blood leaves the brain, it goes to the arms and legs, and we right. can run so we don't okay. become dinner. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, we do this no matter what the stressors are. It's the stress response in the body. It's meant to work this way. But when we were cave peeps, Mm -hmm. you could fall into a puddle in the cape, Mm -hmm. in the cape, in the cave, Mm -hmm. okay, and regroup. Right. Nobody's regrouping. Huh. You get up in the morning, your feet hit the floor, you got yeah. money worries, job worries, children worries. I mean, you, y'all you got to remember, even happy stress is stress. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Plan it for a wedding. Right. Plan it for a grandchild. Right. You're hoping everything goes well. Yay! Yay! I'm going to be another uh, surrogate <laughs> grandmother. I keep it, People keep adopting me. <laughs> Lisa's going to be having a grandbaby. Okay, so... What happens is the fight or flight response or freeze is happening yeah. all day long in us. As right. soon as you think about that money and that thing you need done that didn't happen, the stress response happens. Okay. Tapping mm-hmm. actually calms down that reptilian brain. Okay. okay. What happens is when it calms down that brain, I'm telling you, if somebody doesn't know what we're doing, they tune in right now. Look at you and me. Okay. <laughs> Crazy. When, the, when we tap, we are calming down that part of the brain back here. Okay. okay? Uh-huh. And what actually happens is we allow blood flow to go back into the brain okay? okay this right here up in front peeps this is your prefrontal cortex mm-hmm. prefrontal cortex is our most uh what do i want to say evolved part of our brain mm-hmm. okay and w- that's our thinking part okay mm-hmm. so when the blood goes back in there what do i always tell people blood when you're trying to think in the brain is a really good plan right okay yeah People all the time, when you start tapping with them after a minute or two or five or seven, will say, oh, you know what, Uh, uh, I never thought about it that way. Or, oh, yeah, they were trying to do the best they could. Maybe I don't take it personal. Those kind of shifts tell me that you're shifting. Okay, so now let's go to the one, two, three steps of how do we do it. Okay? Okay? So let's say you got something that's bothering you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, I'm not going to start out with something like, even though I don't feel enough because that's going to be a really huge okay so let's say that you have a fear of spiders okay do you have a real fear of something that we could do oh well i'm gonna say snakes Oh, okay. A lot of people do. I don't like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So see, see the reaction she just had when she went. Eh. <laughs> I just okay. shook. If she were in the chair with me, I'd go. We don't need a setup. Go right here. Okay. okay. And just start. But since I'm showing you how to do it, we're gonna back it up. Ready? Right. The whole thing with tapping is this: negative emotions, negative emotional experiences. Okay. That's what we're clearing with the tapping. Okay, until we clear it enough, 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 enough that then we can start to do some, some, some more positive okay. uplifting. Once we get rid of these fears, phobias, stress, and anxiety about the snakes, mm-hmm. then we can actually start to put in better information. Good stuff. Okay. Yes. Okay. I will tell you there are two questions everybody asks me about tapping. Ready? Mm-hmm. One. What are the words? Okay. Yeah. And true. I teach people with tapping. You don't even need words. Okay? You find yourself in a snit, somebody cut you off in traffic, somebody made you really mad, you just start tapping. Before you know it, you get to two or three rounds of this, and before you know it, you got the words, and you go, even though that guy, I can't believe he cut me off like that. Okay, right? So you don't always need the setup. 
All right, so what we do is, in your thinking about, so what we're doing is we're coming up with a, what we call a setup phrase. Okay. Okay? We are just being honest. Oh, okay, the second thing was, why the negative words? That's the second oh, why thing everybody are we asked. Saying negative why are we words? saying negative words? Because I've got people going, don't do that. Okay? All we're doing is acknowledging what you're already thinking. True. Okay? That you just don't want anybody to know. Because everybody says, think positive and don't do that. Okay, but that's not helpful. You cannot put sugar on poop and have it not taste like poop. Okay? Don't so if you got this fear of snakes under there and you're walking around going, I'm okay, I'm okay. Well, how many life experiences are you missing because of your fear of snakes? I know people who won't go in the woods. Oh, no. Okay? Oh, you wouldn't? I No, I will go into the woods. I just don't, like, if you go to the, the park, go to the um, zoo or whatever, <laughs> and they're, they're, I'm like, snakes. I don't even want to touch them. You would have had a real time with me then at the Midwest Arts Expo because oh, yes, the DNR brought were. all the snakes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I had one on me and it was really cool. Oh. Okay. So what we do is in your thinking, we like to rate. Okay. So in your phobia, we're just going to call it that. Yep. We're going to use a big word, phobia, mm -hmm. of snakes. On a one to ten, how true is it that you're afraid of snakes? It's really, I'm going to say... Nine. I was going to say, I went to like nine and a half. Yeah. And I don't even do halves. <laughs> <laughs> it just really Okay, is. so what we do is we go to what's... Yes, sir? Uh, someone named Pam Burke says hello. Hi, Pam. <laughs> Pam's actually going to come stay with me. The June 24th thing at Camp Chesterfield. Uh -huh. She's from Ohio. See, all my clients become my friends. That's wonderful. <laughs> well, we know, well, most know of that. them. Most <laughs> of them. Some of them, not so much. So, uh, uh... So she's going to come stay with me. We're going to oh, go up nice. to Camp Chesterfield. We'll do the thing. So oh, she, Yeah, she gosh. keeps telling me she's easy, low maintenance. So I'm going, well, good, because, like, I am not going to be yeah. waiting on you hand and foot. <laughs> I don't do it. You got to tell me what you want and just go find it in my house. Uh -huh. So anyway, <laughs> she's, like, probably going, what? <laughs> um, so anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to rate it. Okay, so she's at about nine. a nine. Now, mm -hmm. even if this is not your issue, tap along. Because you will get relief on something. You may not notice it for a week, okay, a month, whenever. You'll be but you'll be surprised. Yep. Okay. So what we do is we go to the side of the hand. We call it the karate chop or the side of the hand. It's down from the little finger, and you're just tapping it either hand. Can't do it wrong, okay? And you would say, and if you were working with me, you repeat, okay? Mm -hmm. And Lisa's going to be my echo. <laughs> Yay! I love it. Okay. Even though I have this fear of snakes. Even though I have this fear of snakes. I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. And even though I have this fear of snakes. And even though I have this fear of snakes. I deeply and profoundly. I deeply and profoundly. Love and honor myself. Love and honor myself. And even though I have this fear of snakes. And even though I have this fear of snakes. I deeply and profoundly. I deeply and profoundly. Love and honor. Love and honor. And accept myself anyway. And accept myself anyway. Okay, so I usually like to take a breath then. And then the first spot we go to is what we call the eyebrow. It's right where the eyebrow starts, not third eye, okay? It's right where the eyebrow starts. Either side, what you're doing is tapping lightly about seven or eight times, okay? Mm -hmm. And you say, this fear of snakes that I have. This fear of snakes that I have. Then you go to what we call the side of the eye. It's Am I turning the right way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Goes right here about in the middle, okay? So if that's your temple, you're going to be about in the middle because you don't want to be in your eyeball and you don't want to be too far back. You should feel this on the bone a little mm -hmm. bit like thumping a melon mm -hmm. okay all this fear of snakes all this fear of snakes under the eye we're just following this bone peeps okay mm -hmm. so right here all this fear of snakes all this fear of snakes under the nose that's pretty self-explanatory some people do it this way some people do it this way you can do both hands really you can't do it wrong this fear of snakes in my mind and body the fear of snakes in my mind and body chin under mouth it's right here it's the dent okay all this fear of snakes in my body and mind Mind. All this fear of snakes in my body and mind. Okay, collarbone. Those little knotty things you got, it's like an inch down and an inch over. So it's kind of here. On me, it's always kind of like, ee, okay? But some people do it this way, this way. It's right where the knot of a man's tie goes, okay? Mm -hmm. This fear of snakes in my body and mind. This fear of snakes in my body and mind. Okay, the next spot is called under the arm. And if you could draw a line right down the middle of your body, okay? You're going about four inches down from the armpit. So for ladies, it's about the middle of the bra strap. And for guys, it's four inches down from your armpit, okay? Sometimes you can do it this way, okay? Kids like this. 
Okay. <laughs> All this fear of snakes in my body and mind. All this fear of snakes in my body and okay. mind. Top of the head is a little circle on the crown up here. All this fear of snakes that I have. All this fear of snakes that I have. Take a nice breath. Okay. Now, that was one round. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, I got to ask you. Just when I say your fear of snakes, you were at nine, nine and a half. I think it's down. Yeah, I can feel it's you down. Can, you can't yeah. feel She kind of is like already looking like a nap. Yeah, Here, exactly. <laughs> I know. This is so easy. <laughs> I'll tell you. She just sits there and goes, <sighs> Yeah, I'm okay. okay. Yeah. And I couldn't connect <laughs> to that high fear you had. I was going to say that, you know it. what, as we're doing that, you know, it starts, it starts me thinking, and I'm sure other people will do this too, wonder why, why? Yeah, Do I have because that? my next thing, if I'm working with you, okay. okay, is to keep going until I say, so, so where do you feel that in your body? Uh -huh. Um, uh, tell me a color. Yeah. Um, uh, do you remember the first time you saw a snake? Cause you may only yeah. have a fear of snake cause you heard your dad say, I hate snakes. I, I, it's that easy, yeah. peeps. Uh, I, I, That's that how we get a programming. Right, right. How much we've been programmed. Yeah. Well, and if these people who love us, right, okay, right. that are supposed to guide and direct us, our parents, our teachers, our preachers, our whoever, mm -hmm. tells us something, as the little awesome beings that we are, that are in theta brainwave, taking mm -hmm. it all in, okay, mm -hmm. we think, oh, okay, so fear of snakes, that must That's be what it. I'm supposed to do. <laughs> and then, every time you see them, right. because you already have that belief, you're actually re-inputting it in the body. Now, oh, here's the thing. Yeah. If you went and watched a YouTube video, mm -hmm. okay, I'm telling you, this is how easy it is okay okay and you looked at that snake uh -huh. okay and i just felt that right around the arms where mm -hmm. you feel that like eh. mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. okay now it's moving up my neck okay yep, you is. do not want to look at a video of snakes no <laughs> just tell me how you feel <laughs> no she ain't going there because i'm like it's not down here She's it's like, like up here it's and all up here yes <laughs> and i'm going yeah. if you would pull up a youtube <laughs> okay and you would watch a snake you don't even need to say a word you just look at that snake and yeah. you keep tapping, mm -hmm. you will eventually get that out of out. your energy system. Okay. Okay. Because I can tell you, it's not anything that I've experienced. Yeah. It is just something that... We just hear people say right. it. And it's like, well, they must know what they're talking yeah. about. And I think that they're slimy and I think they're all this. See, and sometimes what I'll do to kind of backdoor my clients... You're, this is so great because what this led to was there are times when I'm working with people and listen, people, this is just the way it goes, okay? We're so immersed in our own reality yeah. that we think all our beliefs are true that we don't even realize they're just beliefs. I'm afraid of snakes. Right. You see? Right. Irrational. Doesn't right. make sense. Nothing really that ever. I no snake bit me. I didn't wake up and a snake was crawling on exactly. me. Okay, I just freaked her out. Okay, <laughs> so so what I what I will do is I will take a story of mine. Okay. Because when you said snakes, mm -hmm. what happened with me was I remember in a time where um, uh, Scott and I were at Bloomington. Uh, what's the name of that thing? The park there, Brown County State Park. Okay. Oh yeah. And we, uh, Colette. Colette loves to walk. Okay. Colette will just take off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a really hot day. I take off. We're walking through Brown County State Park, and eventually I see an entry to a trail. Okay. Okay. See how I'm starting where mm -hmm. we're nice and easy and calm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm, we're walking through this trail. What well, keeps going down 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 okay scott's kind of looking at me we don't have water we don't have nothing yeah, okay we we're just walking <laughs> <laughs> we get down to the very bottom okay. right okay well in my head i'm thinking well this is good because we're at least done going down okay but at the bottom of down uh -huh. was a creek bed Completely okay. dry with okay. huge craggy rocks in it. Okay. Completely covered in bees swarming and snakes going in and out of the rock. <laughs> so I stopped tapping. Going in, she, she's like, what? Okay. <laughs> going in and out of the rocks. And I knew that we either turn around and go back uphill here, which we really probably should have done. Oh, Colette. Or we cross, okay? So I back up, and I'm even as I'm going thinking, okay, don't let me land before I land. No. Okay, because then I hit a rock, and I don't want to be laying here. I get stung and killed. And oh, my God. <laughs> all this fear going on here. Uh -huh. Fear, fear, gripping fear. Okay, so we get on the other side. 
Okay. Uh -huh. Now we're starting the up. Okay. Well, a lot of people must have turned around because the trails weren't as well marked on oh, the going up. They stopped when they saw the snakes. <laughs> we are really hot, really thirsty. I could tell he's getting scared, uh -huh. okay, and a little ticked off at me, okay. Were you taking me? And we'd me? go up and you'd see this little skinny line that looked like somebody might have used to walk down it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd go, okay, I think we go this way. <laughs> we get to the top. The relief is palpable, of course. Ooh. I hope y'all are enjoying this and just happy while you're hearing this, okay, because there's something then you're going to get rid yeah. of that you're not even aware of. We get up there and he's like, okay, I am never doing that with you again. <laughs> he, he was so mad at me. I was just so grateful that we found our uh -huh. way back up. And that we... <laughs> Oh, God. He's like, we're not going without water. If you start down a trail, we're not just going. He's, He's, He's still over there looking at me like, yeah, you did that to us. Because <laughs> yeah, so, I'll just go walk it. I'm like, ah, let's go here. Oh, right? my okay. gosh. So what you do is you, you tell that story, and you don't even need to have a story. Mm -mm. Like you... And and what we did, it mm -hmm. just came down already. Mm -hmm. So you don't don't get fancy with the words, okay? Let's say that you're looking for money. Let's say you feel like money is being withheld for you. Start telling the stories, okay? Okay, that that are the lack stories that you think are the truth. There's only so much money, right? People mm -hmm. in the government are misspending my money. Mm -hmm. Okay, all that crappy stuff that you believe. Right. That's the stuff that's in here that keeps getting you. Because remember, you always get a match to you. Nothing. That gets you more. That gets you more. Nothing. Nothing. You <laughs> poor, pitiful people out there. <laughs> Too funny. Oh. All right. And the only reason you would think that about money is you think there's only so much. Now, all of you people out there that believe in a higher power or something, something that would mean Anything. that the God and fear, knowing and understanding, whatever that is, didn't make enough of something. Could that really be true? No, I don't think so. No. Okay. So. Go look on my timeline. I got Red Tent Indy over there, and I got June 24th over there. Go to my tappinggirl.com because from there, you can get on my email list. I send you things. I've been a little lax about it. Ooh, also, we've got the uh, Classic Movies event. We Jim Wofford does this really cool thing where he does the movies in the park and all of that stuff. Uh, He's the one that's no... Uh, 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 uh. Forest Park. Are they always at Forest? Always in Forest Park. At I Forest. thought you did Wicken, Witten too. My Friday night movies. Friday night movies are at Forest Park in Noblesville. The movie started dusk. You want to know about it? Go to WaffordTheater.com. This okay? Friday is Philadelphia Story. This Friday's Philadelphia <laughs> Story. Ah, oh, he shows a lot of the good, fun old yeah. movies. So cool. I know that. Um, uh, you know, there. You've already done some of these. The June 2nd, he did Patch Adams. Yeah, so you see there's always stuff. June 16th, there's another one. June 23rd, August June 30th. what is that? August 16th. It'll be in alphabetical order. You mean June 16th. Okay. June August 16th is Rush. August Rush. I think I've seen that. It's good. Yeah, June 23rd, Funny Face. Oh, with Hepburn. Uh, yeah. Audrey Hepburn. See, you got to get your kids Good exposed mix. to these old movies. Yeah. I mean, yeah. really. It's, it's so fun. Um, and that is Noblesville Trophies and Logan Street Signs and Banners. Jim owns those. Mm -hmm. And just he's... He just does a myriad of Amazing. awesome things. He mm -hmm. does, he does so many awesome things for the community. So if you can utilize his business, contact Noblesville Trophies or Logan Street Signs and Banners. Come and enjoy the movies in the parks on Friday. That's at Forest Park. And they're free. And they're free. Beautiful. You bring your chairs, right? You bring your chairs yeah. and your uh, and your blankets and your cooler and your you just sit oh, outside enjoy. and enjoy. You can sit in your car too, right? Well, you can't see much of the movie because the trees are in the way. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I got plenty of peeps can't forest, see the forest, forest through reason. the trees. Forest <laughs> Park. Okay, you see what? It's like bam, bam, bam. They all know I love fun. So that is a real, oh look at that two mules for Sister Sarah oh, on that's August fourth and the mask on July twenty eighth. I'm telling you, go look for Wafford W A F F O R D Theater Theater. Dot com. Street dance movie this year will be held at Federal Hills College Park, the new park. Street dance mu uh, movie. Oh, Noblesville Street Dance every year. Oh, yeah. Noblesville Street Dance. <laughs> July the 8th. July the 8th. Yeah, it's like 15,000 people come down to downtown for a concert, and we've been showing movies, but that night we're moving it to the Federal Hill Park. Okay. Ah, okay. And, and Shaggy Dog with Tim. Oh my oh. gosh, that was like when I was a 
little kid, we went to a church that used to share movies. That was the first one I ever saw. Shaggy yeah, Dog. In the 80s. Woohoo! Yeah. You're about to be talking, you weren't a kid in the 80s. Yeah, you, you were. You must be talking about Fred McMurray in the 50s. The original Shaggy yeah. Dog. That was in the 50s. Yeah. This one is with yeah. Tim, Allen. Tim Allen. Yeah. I'm not talking oh. about the remake. I was just saying my first movie was Pat Shaggy. Actually, my first movie theater movie was Mary Poppins. Oh, very good. Seven years old, Mary Poppins. Beautiful. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Got a new dress, got to go. Yeah, that was back when they had the red big... carpet and the velvet, yes. red velvet ropes. And, you know, you had to get dressed to go yes. to the movie. Beautiful. And it was awesome. Okay, now I know I kept you all longer than usual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, share tappinggirl.com and tapping girl tapping into you with other people. Let's start getting people tapping. There is not any issue that is not a tappable issue. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. Right. I can navigate it for you. I can show you how to navigate it. This is a tool that you then have for the rest of your life, whether you're dealing with pain, um, family issues, anything. There's not anything. Even right. write me a note and say, hey, can I use it for this? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. There is not anything you can't use tapping for. Grief. I just had somebody ask me about grief. It's awesome for oh grief. My okay? Gosh, okay, I'm doing more tapping with little kids. I've got a friend that actually, um, uh, a, a client who's become a friend that's teaching this to her four year old. It's been amazing, life changing. For a four year old, going to see her father and stuff. The away oh, weekends yes. are better. <gasps> yes, everything's getting better. Oh, very good. Because when we're doing the tapping, I'm just going to be honest and tell you what we're doing when we're doing the tapping is we're really validating how we feel. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had somebody yeah. hurt you? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that that's worse than that is they don't own it. Right. Okay. That's annoying. Okay, mm -hmm. so when we validate it for ourselves, we really don't need those other people to do that. That's okay, right. and and we get to feel better. Right. Okay. Perfect. So, whew, breathe. Did I get everything in? You know me. There's always more. Um, <laughs> hope to see you on the 14th at the Red Tent Indy and 24th in Camp at Camp Chesterfield. I'm telling you, big big fun stuff. Sign up. You'll probably spend more in gas than you're going to spend for the workshop. Come on in. Join the fun. Until we see you next time, for Lisa, myself, Jim, even my husband, Scott, we're saying, hey, have a great week. We'll see you next time. Until we see you next time, keep tapping into you.